Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create log animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select this logo PNG image and drag and drop into the conversation and press S, change scale. And in this time, let's select this logo, go to layer and auto trace. And don't change any settings, click OK. So let's select Auto Traced Layer, open Inside and Mask. Select this Mask 1 and select Choose here Mask Path and Control C for Copy. So let's hide these both layers and right click New, let's create Shape Layer and add name Logo 3D. So in this time, go to Add, and let's add here Path, and open Path 1. Let's select this Path, Control V for Paths, and let's remove keyframe, and press S, Change Scale. So right now we have Path, and I'm gonna add Fill and Stroke Colors. Let's again go to Add, and Fill. Now let's enable logo and move to right for choose color and select this logo 3D, go to fill and use this color. Click OK. So select this logo shape layer, go to add and stroke and go to stroke. Let's choose color with eyedropper and I'm going to use this for shadow. Let's choose dark yellow. Click OK and stroke with one. So, in this time, we can delete Auto Trace layer and Logo layer. Select this Shape layer and press S, Change Scale. And let's hold Control, double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center. Calculation tool. And let's right click Compensation Settings, go to 3D Render and choose Render Engine Cinema 4D. Click OK. And select this shape layer, click this icon for turn on 3D layer. If you don't see this part, you can click toggle switch mats and click checkbox. So in this time, let's add extrusion for 3D dip. Let's open inside geometry option and go to view, choose first custom view one and change extrusion dip 100. Nice, it works. We can change extrusion more deep like this. So in this time, let's back to active camera and create new background solid layer. Add name background, click OK and move to behind of shape layer. Go to FS Presser search FF fill. Choose fill, use for background. And color, let's choose here white color. Click OK. And in this time, select this shape layer and go to here. Let's press P and create new parts in keyframe. Go to back and move to front. Let's change quality for now quarter and move to front like this. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make it easy or click F9. Go to graph editor, select this graph, select first keyframe, move to left. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And back to keyframe, select last keyframe, move to left. And let's select shape layer, hold shape, press R, open rotation. And go to here, let's create X, Y rotations. Go to here and change rotation like this. And let's change X rotation a little bit like this. Okay, and select few frames, make it easy. And select first few frame, move to the left, and last few frame, move to here. And preview animation. Okay, not bad. And select last two few frames, go to graph editor, and move to the left this graph for more smooth animation. And preview again. Okay, that's good. I like it. So in this time, let's close logo settings and select the shape layer, move to right. 
and go to first second let's go to text and right here first text and let's double click for move to anchor point center classification tool and go to window open animation comes to three and starter presets and text layers animate characters and let's choose here overshot scale click ok close window let's see okay and select this text let's go to window enable align click this and the second for move to center to text and after text animation we can use this logo let's drag to up and use here also let's try to use this text color from the logo okay let's see let's create better transition okay we can use here first okay in this time select this text go to edit and split layer or Control shift d and delete select background go to edit and split layer and change background color yellow click ok let's see ok that's good we can see background is changing from this logo but background color is not good let's select this background and choose color ok let's try to use red click ok and let's see nice and select this logo let's press u and select position q frames go to graph editor and select first position and move to left and let's see okay and let's see in this time let's select this text and cut also this background cut and select second background move to left okay so for better timing select text let's move to right and this move to here and this let's see text timing go to solo okay and this time we can use this shape layer nice and background let's move to here and this move to right let's go to shape layers hold this icon and choose ellipse tool and hold shift make one ellipse classification tool go to fill and choose background color change other tones click ok and move to behind of background and stroke with zero and change scale and move to right press s and go to here create scale cube frame go to back change scale zero and make it cube frames easy okay also can use anim animation comes as three and starter precoms shape elements and particle fireworks let's select and click add close window move to up and move to here okay that's good so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck